too good. I keep it down, Kelly. That's why should I? Woof, woof, woof. Walk, walk, walk. Not scared of the dark. Bitch, I'm a shark. Thank you for coming to check us out here today at New York Coternix. My name is Kenny, as most of you already know, and for those of you who don't, welcome to the channel. This is New York Coternix, your source for everything quail and game bird related. If this is your first time visiting the channel, or if you haven't already done so, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified in real time whenever we do leave new content on the channel. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that we are back to running the Coternix Hatching Egg Contest, and that's courtesy of White's Family Farmhouse. That's located in Maine, New York. Not to be confused with Maine, the state, but Maine, which is a small town right here in New York State. It has a low population, high elevation, and an awesome farmhouse. Their website is also down below in the description, so be sure to check out what they have to offer right over there. For details on how to participate in the contest, be sure to watch until the end of the video where I will go into detail. In a few videos that I've already done, I've gone over multiple ways to make money with your quail if you're raising them at home or on a small scale. If you haven't seen either one of these videos, those links are up above and in the description below. Click on those links and they'll open in new tabs. You can check them out when you're done with this video. Or if you're on mobile, just click the links in the description once you're done and you can check those videos out. So today, I'll be discussing the two main ways that I personally have been making money with my quail. And these are probably, in all honesty, two of the easiest ways to make money on my small urban homestead. And that's by selling live adults and chicks and also by selling hatching eggs. Live birds and their hatching eggs are a lot more popular during warmer months than they are during the winter for obvious reasons. And this season, things seem to be gaining speed really early, so I'm doing a lot more hatching than I was last year when I got started. Uh, now, as a lot of you already know, I live in Buffalo, New York, and this city is definitely a city in its truest sense of the word, but it is surrounded by a lot of areas that are used for homesteading, farming, all sorts of agricultural reasons. Uh, because of this, there are a lot of folks in my area that are interested in quail and or quail related products. I currently have two cage systems at home, one outdoor and one indoor. The indoor setup is a little newer than the outdoor setup and a lot easier to deal with as far as feeding and cleanup. Uh, the birds that I keep outdoors in the grow out hutch are mainly meat birds and will end up in the freezer after about two months average. Processing frozen birds are another way to make money with your quail, of course, if you're able to find buyers for your product. The indoor cage system is used mainly to house birds that are on their way out for sale and also used for breeding. I'll definitely be adding a layer or two to this cage system in the future because it is upgradable. It has an angled floor so the eggs roll right out and they're easy to collect. And because of this, the eggs stay clean. Now this is a huge time saver and of course as we all know time is money. These eggs are easily stored for later sale as long as I keep them at a constant temperature of approximately 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I can keep them for about 10 days or so before shipping out uh, being certain to package them properly so they're not damaged during the shipping process. Most delivery services aren't going to go that extra mile to make sure that your fragile packages are handled exactly that way fragile. Uh, the eggs, you know, they're about as fragile as it gets, so I have to take extra care to make certain that the eggs are secure. Uh, the eggs themselves, they have a very fragile shell, uh, that's like any other egg. Uh, the quail egg has a special surprise though. It has a very thick membrane right up under the shell that's pretty tough to break, so you really have to check these eggs to make sure that they haven't broken. Sometimes they won't leak because of that tough membrane. So you definitely have to pay attention to any imperfections, holes, or cracks. The area where you live or the area where you'll be selling your product will be a determining factor in price. If you do the research and find out what others have bought and sold for in your area, you'll have a good idea of the prices that you should offer. This will keep you well within the range of what folks are willing to pay in your area. 
in my area it turns out that hatching eggs can fetch a pretty decent price so I end up charging about $20 for two dozen hatching eggs the price is turned to $28 if I'm shipping within the continental United States the eggs that I sell for the table are a little bit cheaper going for about $3 a dozen as a side note I try to let nothing go to waste I usually will feed the broken eggs to my chickens they love quail eggs then there's the live bird People love to buy live birds, but the live birds for right now, I only sell locally. I'm not comfortable with sending live birds through the mail. And that's because I don't trust any of these carriers to safely deliver without issue. Uh, the birds are stressed enough just being moved from one place to another. So I have no desire to stress them out any more than they already are. The adult birds that I sell, they go for a solid $5 each and the chicks, between three and six weeks, they will go for about $4. The chicks under that age are $3 and have to be handled and transported with a little more care than the others because they need the added warmth, being that they don't have all of their feathers quite yet. And I just took them from under the heat lamp. Uh, I do get a lot of people asking me weekly if I'm able to ship live birds. My answer may be yes to this someday, but as of right now, I still have to say that I'm unable to do so. And, you know, I'll definitely ship hatching eggs and process quail to anybody who asks within the continent of the United States. But for now, we just can't do the live birds. A lot of sellers will sell their hens that are already laying it slightly more than others. I don't do this because no matter what you do, as soon as you move one that is already laying, she'll lay an egg that day, maybe even the next day. And she won't lay again for about two weeks. And that doesn't translate to any more or less value at the end of the day at least not in my book uh, a quail hen that has already been comfortable and laying eggs in one place will stop temporarily if her living environment changes almost every time if you're wondering whether or not all of this is worth it I would definitely say yes Am I learning new things yes am I meeting new people yes am I turning a profit finally to that the answer is yes uh, the cost of feed is well more than offset by the recent sales that I've done uh, and I've recently found a bulk feed provider that will save me even more money in the future. So aside from the feed, there isn't much more money being put into this other than maybe a handful of gas and it all turns into profit at the end and a full freezer. As I mentioned earlier, we are holding another contest for Caternix quail hatching eggs courtesy of White's Family Farmhouse in Maine, New York. In order to participate in this contest, be sure to leave a like for the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, then head over to Facebook, join the group, and leave a comment on the official contest thread. You'll be entered for a chance to win 30 free hatching eggs. Good luck. Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Caternix. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave those below. Also, please leave a like for the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Hit that notification bell so you're notified right away when there are new videos released on the channel. We here at New York Caternix really appreciate the support so far and look forward to hearing from you when the next video releases. See you soon. Mm -hmm.